Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the ability to link and unlink your textures, which is a new feature for iClone 7.21. On the screen right now we have a nice uh, beautiful sofa setup. This is courtesy of one of our developers, Turgames. You can find this uh, pack here, this commercial furniture in PBR pack in our content store, and I'll provide a link in the description for you there as well. Okay, so let's go back to iClone here and take a look at, you know, normally how you would adjust the color or the properties of any one of these sofa sections here. You can see in the scene manager, there's a number of different sofa sections. Uh, if you wanted to adjust them all together, the colors, previously you would have to do it, uh, you know, one by one, but now we have a shortcut, which I'll show you in just a moment. All right, let's take a look at adjusting them one by one first of all. Okay, so let's select this sofa three right here and go over here to our materials and let's maybe adjust the base color map. Go down here to adjust color. I'll open up our adjust color panel and we can give it a nice hue adjustment to a nice pea soup green or a richer darker kind of red color and you can throw in like a saturation uh, brightness and all that other stuff we can have a nice pinkish kind of sofa if we wanted to you know whatever you like i like this kind of dark brown burgundy color there all right let's go ahead and press reset and reset it back to default there so generally that's what you'd have to do uh, one by one but now we have the option to link them all together all right so let's take a look at how we can do that i'm going to go ahead and shift select all my sofa sections here. I'm going to hold the control key and click on table to deselect table. And also we're going to deselect sofa three. Okay. Sofa three, three, because we're going to attach everything else to that sofa. And the way we do that is we right click on all the other selected items, select attach and just pick sofa three, three, all right, which is right over here. And you can also pick it in the content manager if you want, or C manager rather. Okay. So now we have them all in a hierarchy. And if we select sofa three and we go over here to our materials, you can see we have all the sofa, different sofa sections in the mesh list as independent. Okay. And if we wanted to, you know, uh, modify any one of these sofas, like this one, for example, we can do that from here from our material list now. All right. So we'll go to base color and, uh, you know, adjust that one. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, it's that one right there. Okay. All right. So there you go ahead and adjust that one to uh, whatever value you would want. All right. Well, I'm picking some atrocious colors here. All right, let's go ahead and press reset and set that back. Now, if we wanted to adjust these all together, what we can do is we can use a new feature at the top here called auto link all object textures. Okay. So what this is going to do is this is going to search through the entire list of uh, props and sub props for any materials that are being shared. Okay. Any texture, texture maps that are being shared. And it's going to put a little link icon in the bottom left. You can see right here in our AO map, a metallic and roughness bump map because they're all they're all basically the same prop they're all using the same maps so it's saving resources by linking them all together okay so now what you would do is if you selected any single one of these here like uh, this sofa double for example what I would do is I would go in here to uh, adjust color and if we adjusted the color here oops we need to make sure we're selecting the right map not the ambient occlusion map here base color there we go okay so what would happen is we would adjust all these colors simultaneously all right pretty cool stuff so that's a really easy and uh, fast way that we've improved to, you know, adjust multiple objects simultaneously, the texture maps anyways. All right. So let's go ahead and press reset. Now you're saying, hey, what if I want to, uh, you know, separate one of them and uh, do it all by itself? Well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and select this sofa single. Okay. This is uh, this one over here, this independent one. All right. Now you can see that uh, all the texture channels are still linked. Okay. So you have the link icon in the bottom left. But we have this option down here under texture settings to cut the link. Okay. We can select a single texture. We can cut the single texture, which is like the base color in this, uh, uh, this situation here, or we can unlink all the material textures, which will unlink all of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and just unlink the base color first. Okay. Let's go ahead and check that out. So when we select unlink that, you'll see that icon in the bottom left will be removed and we can adjust the color separate from all the other sofa sections. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. And, uh, okay, I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. You get the point. All right. So that's pretty cool. And we can also, like I mentioned, uh, detach or unlink all the material textures as well. So you're probably saying like, well, what if I want to relink it? Let's go ahead and just uh, make sure that base color is a little bit different just so we have something to go off of here. Let me take it to a nice, uh, dark brown there, rich brown mahogany or whatever. Okay. And I'll go ahead and close that. So let's go ahead and unlink all the textures. Okay. So if you unlink all of them, you can see they're all going to be uh, separate. Now, if I wanted to, you know, link one of them back together, well, I can just go ahead and select that separate map. Like say, for example, 
I wanted this to stay this color, but I wanted to adjust the roughness and metallic values all together. Well, what I can do then is I can, you know, select that roughness map if I wanted to re uh, re relink that and just go ahead and relink that single texture. Okay, so what's going to happen is that roughness map is going to have that link in the bottom left. And if I choose a roughness map and go into adjust color, say, for example, adjust the brightness. You'll see we can make it all together. We can make them, you know, more shiny, uh, more intense specular highlights and like vinyl furniture. Or we can make them more like a rough kind of matte uh, leather uh, appearance like this. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. And you can do that, you know, with any of the texture channels you want. Link them, unlink them. Uh, you can go ahead and link them all back together again by using this auto link all material textures if you want. Uh, just keep that in mind that, uh, you know, you have the ability to link and unlink textures and modify them separately or simultaneously. So that's really about all there is to it. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot here. Uh, thanks so much for watching and make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.